Hey everyone and welcome back to Haste Kitchen Now. I am gonna do the most simple but super tasty snack you've ever had. It's a fact, okay? I'm actually gonna do some sweet potatoes but I'm actually gonna roast them off in the oven with a little bit of yogurt, hazelnut, lime, cumin powder and a little bit of coriander. Finish that off with some sweet peas. Now the reason I'm doing this, I went to a restaurant the other day and I'm one of these people who when I order a steak, I like to have lots of different sides going. I don't want chips and salad. I want lots of things like asparagus or spinach or I want the sweet potatoes. So this restaurant would do that for me, which was really, really nice. So they've done this as a side dish for me. My wife had cod and it went perfectly with her cod and it went perfectly with my steak. But while we were eating it, we thought to ourselves, actually this would be just as good as a main dish. It's that good. And it's, it's a perfect little snack really. So ingredients are gonna be pretty easy. Sweet potato, cumin powder, some little pea shoots, don't need them, they just make it look nice and it gives it a little bit of a pea taste through it. <laughs> pea taste, that doesn't sound good. Lime, hazelnuts, some plain yogurt, and we've got some coriander. That's it, let's get cooking. With your sweet potatoes, I generally always say, cut them in half, carefully your fingers, then make sure they're flat like that. So you've got yourself two separate pieces, cut the other one in half as well. And now you've got yourself two flat surfaces that you can cut into. So from there, I can go across like that, tilt it again, always cutting on a flat surface, and again, like that. So I've got three wedges. Let's do some more of those, cut them up. Now with these, tasty as they are, but we're gonna put them straight into a pan, like that. We're gonna season just like with a cumin powder. So for real, in order for that cumin powder to stick to it, we're gonna put a little bit of oil on there. A tiny little drizzle over the top. Now sweet potatoes tend to go soggy if you put too much on them. So too much oil, for instance. You don't need hardly any on there. You just need to make sure that they're not gonna to stick to the pan. You're just gonna to toss them through. And onto that, you're gonna just go in with a little bit of your cumin powder. So just sprinkle roughly over the top, making sure that each one gets a little taste. A little bit of taste, a little bit of flavour. Onto that, a little bit of salt. Like so. And they are good. Now they're gonna go in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes at full heat of your oven. So about 450 Fahrenheit or 230 Celsius. Into the oven. Now while they're cooking away, we're gonna take some of our yogurt. We're gonna take our lime. Squeeze that across your table so it gets all the juices released when you cut into it. Cut that in half. And you're just gonna squirt that straight into your yogurt. So you're gonna use pretty much the juice of one whole lime. Keep back one of your sections. You're just gonna use that for garnish. Give that a little stir through. And into there, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of chili. So using your chili, seeds as well. Absolutely fine, you want a bit of heat in there as well. Now there's a little bit of chilli, you're gonna do half and half. So half of that goes into your yoghurt, and just mix that through. And the other half we're gonna to use to garnish the plate in a second. A little bit of coriander, about that much. And again, just roughly chop that. And that can go into your yoghurt. So now we've, all we've got there is flavour wise, You've almost got lots of different Thai and curry flavours going on. You've got some cumin powders, which is going to give that little sort of like, um, almost like an Indian sort of kick going through the potato. And then you've got a little bit of spike of heat from the chilli. And you've got the coriander, which is going to give it that real sort of like Thai sort of flavour going through. So whip that through. That's good to go. Now with your hazelnuts, the potatoes have been in for 20 minutes or 15 to 20 minutes. As they're starting to brown, we can start putting in the hazelnuts. Out with your sweet potatoes. And into there, you're just going to take some of your hazelnuts, scatter a few over whole. Some can go in your sauce. And then with some, some of the whole hazelnuts are put into a little bit of baking paper. And with the final bits of hazelnuts that are just lovely squashed and crunched up nicely, we're just going to scatter them over the top. A little bit more in your yoghurt. That, with the, all the oils that are coming out of the potatoes, is just going to roast off those nuts slightly. I can go back in again for another seven minutes. Right, back out of the oven. And they have toasted off perfectly. 
All you're going to do with this is grab yourself a nice bowl and you're just going to literally just chuck these amongst it. Some of your hazelnuts. Then onto there, we're just going to take off some of our coriander. Roughly chop that again. Sprinkle that just over the top. And then some of our cool yogurt. Just going to place that over the middle. A little bit of lime just on the side. And then we're going to take off a few of our pea shoots. Like that. And then just a tiny amount of our chilies. So there we have it, our crispy sweet potatoes roasted off with hazelnut, lime, coriander, a little bit of yogurt, a little bit of chili, and a little bit of sweet pea, all done with a little bit of cumin powder. Simple, simple, healthy lunch, super tasty, super good for share, or stick it with a bit of steak and stick it with a bit of fish, and it'll be awesome. Hope you like the video, guys. Um, as always, go to hastekitchen.com. New website is still being built at the moment, but I've been promised it's gonna be with us within the next couple of weeks, so it'll be more updated and more um, interactive with the recipes. Follow me on Instagram, Haste Kitchen. Twitter, Ace Kitchen, all the standard ones I say every week. Um, hope you enjoyed this one, guys, and I shall see you next week. Cheers, then. Bye-bye.